This is River Watch for March 17, 2023. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network and other environmental groups are endorsing the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's decision to require utilities to remove perfluorinated chemicals from drinking water supplies. The so-called forever chemicals have been found in drinking water supplies, surface water, and fish in the Delaware River watershed. Ten states, including New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York, have adopted standards for the removal of certain perfluorinated chemicals. The substances have been linked to a number of health effects, including cancer. The Delaware River Basin Commission has received an application to approve proposed site changes for Camp Fimfo in the Upper Delaware. The changes to the site, which include RV campsites and an aquatic center, still need approval from the local planning board before it can move forward. The National Park Service says the agency needs more information on the changes to determine whether the camp conforms with the Upper Delaware River Management Plan. NPS officials want to know how 146 campsite RVs would be moved and utilities disconnected during a flood. There are reports of shad moving up the Delaware River for the spring migration. New restrictions on taking shad begin this year for both commercial and recreational fishermen. Pennsylvania anglers are only allowed to take two shad from the Delaware River daily. The Lehigh and Schuylkill Rivers are catch and release only.